on the one hand, I've got Asians in the media saying this book is inauthentic and, and the authenticity is kind of irrelevant given that the kid, the, the, the whole personas, they're all fictional, they're all fictional, they're all performances, so they are inauthentic, that's the point. Middle class young men pretending to be ghetto boys, but, but on the one hand I've got sort of one section of the Asian community saying, oh, this is really inauthentic. Uh, for whatever reasons, and on the other hand, I've got you know another section of the Asian community saying, "Oh my God, this is so authentic," and it just goes to show how authenticity is just kind of a pointless construct that means nothing because you know you've got the same you know two sides of the same community coming to the completely opposite c conclusion. Serve him right, he got his motherfucking face fucked. You shouldn't be calling me a packy, in it. After spitting his words out, Hodgett stopped for a second, like he expected us to write them down or some shit. Then he sticks in an exclamation mark by kicking the white kid in the face again. Shouldn't be calling us pack, he's in it, you dirty gora. Again, punctuation came with a kick, but with his left foot this time, so it was more like a semicolon. Call me or any of my brethren's a packy again, and I'm a mash you and your family. Isn't that the truth, packies? That's right, Amit, Ravi and I go. That be the truth. My publisher was speaking to me the other day, and she's like, I've never known a book to... One of, someone in the publisher's speech, she's like, I've never known a book to sort of have so many, create so many enemies just for no apparent reason. You know, you, you're not, I mean, I'm a first time writer, and nobody, I've not done anything to it. You know what I mean? I'm not, I just think, why is there so much, why are there so many haters out there? I mean, always like to point out that brown people don't actually go green. We don't go red when we've been shamed, and we don't go blue when we're dead, he'd said to me one time. We don't even go purple when we've been bruised, just a darker brown. And still, Gora has got the front to call us coloured. It was an old joke, but green or not, I ain't ashamed to admit, I'm envious of Hodgett. Most brethren ran Hounslow were jealous of his designer dissiness with his perfectly built body, his perfectly shaped facial hair and his perfectly groomed gums that made it look like he went shopping with P. Diddy. Authenticity was always kind of such an interesting issue, but I never thought that my authenticity would be relevant. When, it, when the book was published, my authenticity was kind of the only thing people wanted to write about. And that just kind of surprised me. Because, you know, what, what difference does it make? You know, it, it just... I mean, it, it doesn't work on so many levels. You know, a lot of people were, were criticising the book because they felt that it's inauthentic because I'm a... You know, I, I, I went to a state school in Hounslow, but then I went to Cambridge University, and then I started working at the Financial Times. Well, yeah, clearly I'm not a rude boy. That goes without saying. I never pretended otherwise. But, you know... Thomas Harris isn't a serial killer or a cannibal and he still writes The Silence of the Lambs and no one gives him a hard time. You know, it's just kind of... So it's ridiculous on that level and, and ridiculous on an even deeper level because the book's about inauthenticity and it's about people pretending to be something they're not. I think that maybe people just needed... But I think maybe that was maybe that was just too difficult for, for, for a lot of people to get hold of because, you know, you know... We, I mean, how many people look at, look at youth culture and... and Look at uh, you know urban youth culture and look at chav culture even not, not you know not kind of racially neutral term. Let's just think about urban culture and even chav culture. How many people look at that and and realise the kind of layers of of inauthenticity and the layers of kind of a performed identity? I don't know. Maybe maybe not many people do, and therefore it's a bit difficult. Maybe they saw this. They saw the language. I mean, maybe my biggest mistake was the la I don't would never call it a mistake, but maybe the the thing that really made this. A, pr a problem was the language because people saw this language and they saw these kids trying to talk like they're from the gritty ghetto kind of council estates of Hounslow and they figured all oh, right well you know that must be you know that must be key to the book and of course it never was I mean they they live in five you know you get to page 30 and you realize that actually they're living in a five bedroom pseudo mansion and they're driving German sports cars that aren't, or German luxury cars that aren't stolen, you know, they're, they're actually their, their mothers and... Um, but maybe the language made people obsessed with the idea that this was the tale from the streets. And, you know, that's, there is a story, there is a book to be written about, you know, hardcore, genuine, bona fide Asian gangs in London, but this isn't it, this was never supposed to be it.